The cutting head assembly consists of the outer housing with mounting bolt, the spool, the eyelets, the bump knob, the spring, and comes preloaded with trimmer line. All trimmer heads will eventually wear out. The bump knob wears down from rubbing against the ground. The outer housing can be cracked, or the eyelets can be lost. Replacing the cutting head assembly is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the trimmer attachment from the engine unit. Now I'll remove the trimmer head from the business end of the trimmer. If I rotate the trimmer head around, you'll notice there's a hole in the trimmer head flange. I'll line that hole with the notch in the gear head. Then I can use an Allen wrench to lock the two while I remove the trimmer head. This is a reverse thread, so I'll turn it counterclockwise to remove it. Now I'll install the new trimmer head. And again, remember it is a reverse thread. I'll lock the spindle in place and tighten up the head. And I'll finish up by reattaching the trimmer attachment. And that's how you can replace the cutting head assembly on your trimmer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. 